going on YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video. Before we get today's video, make sure you like this video, follow your boy on IG, and make sure you most importantly subscribe to the channel. Alright, y'all, so today's video we're gonna do another how to lace video. My how to lace Jordan 5 video is almost at 100 so before you watch this video, watch that video, get that video to 100k, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? But, I decided to do an Air Jordan 4 lace tutorial soon because this is one of the most recommended in my comments. And Jordan 4s are also getting very popular right now. Like Jordan 4s, as soon as they drop, they 320, 350, some even 400 as soon as they come out. So it's crazy. So yeah, the shoe I'm going to be using is the Air Jordan 4. Brad, y'all know what these look like. Y'all know what these is. You feel me? But yeah, I'm gonna use these to do my how to lay tutorial and whatnot. And we'll get right to the video. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all how to lay the Jordan 4 in three different ways there's a loose way there's a knot way and there is a really loose knot way you know what i'm saying y'all know how i get down but yeah so first i'm gonna show y'all how to make them look just like this so first thing you want to do is unlace the shoe So now that you got everything out, you know what I'm saying, you can leave this little bottom loop right here because that one doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? So, but with this loop, you always want to go over and under. Always want to go over and under. But for the rest of the laces, you want to go under and out. So, with this, all you want to do is first make sure your laces are even. With the lace tips, make sure the lace tips are even throughout the whole shoe, see if I can get that. Y'all see, y'all see the vibes. But yeah, make sure they're even. So go all the way up to this middle waffle hole right here. This one in the middle. And just lace the shoe up. Like I said, what you wanna do is go under and out. You never wanna go over and under. Go under and out, if y'all can see that. There you go, under and out. And also another thing is make sure your laces are all flat and neat. You see how they flat, you know what I'm saying? They're not jumbled up and twisted and whatnot. You wanna keep everything flat and make sure everything looks cohesive. we got the shoe all laced up you see everything looks nice everything is flat everything is good like I said skip this first one right here skip this just skip that go straight to the middle one it, it looks it looks better that way trust me but so what you want to do at this step is completely up to you so me personally I would lace not lace I would loosen this up just a little bit as you can see on my cool gray fours, you see the laces are a lot looser. You know what I mean? Cause this, this is how I preferably wear my fours, but you don't really have to do that. If you want your fours to look like this, you want them to be tight and snug on your foot, just keep it like this and go ahead and lace it up.
and then you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you want to look, then this is for you. But me personally, I like mine to be a little bit more looser. One, because I don't want it to look like I got my foot choking. You know what I'm saying? And then secondly, I don't like a big, a big large bow. I like my bows, bows to be not too big, but not too small. Just a little nice size. So what you do is, you know what I'm saying, kind of take the laces and kind of pull outwards a little bit. And you want to go down each row until you get the desired length that you want of your laces. Like, let's see. Now I think I need mine a little bit shorter. So we can go down and do it a little bit more. Make sure everything looks still looks neat and cohesive. Make sure everything looks, you know what I'm saying, still together. So I think this is good for me. Go ahead and lace the shoe up real quick. And then boom, this is what we got right here. And this is personally how I would wear my Jordan 4s. As y'all can see, my other breads are already laced up that way. But I guess, yeah, this is usually how I would lace my Air Jordan 4s. I would call this the the knot. It's just a plain knot. Because like you can lace them up and just tie them if you want to. Loosen them up just a little bit if you want to. But to me, this is a dope, the dopest and cleanest look, in my opinion, with the Jordan 4s. So yeah, we're just gonna hop right into the next look. All right, y'all, so we just got done with the knot. So now we're gonna do the loose knot, you know what I'm saying? So basically what you wanna do, again, is unlace the whole shoe. So now that we got the shoe unlaced, you know, still want to make sure that your laces are even, make sure they're cohesive. My right side is a little bit longer, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that real quick. And to whichever side is longer, so for me, this side is longer, so you want to pull this bottom piece right here on the side that's longer, and the side that has less, you want to pull on this side. So you want to pull the middle right here, and then take the lace that needs to be longer, and then pull it. So boom, then you wanna look at them again. And that one's still longer, so I'm just gonna do it again. You don't wanna do it too much, cause then it's gonna be a little too off. But yeah, all right, so now we're good. So the first thing you did with the first lace way, you wanna do with these, but instead of lacing it to the waffles, you're gonna start at this last hole. The last hole before you reach the waffles, stop right here. All right, y'all, so now that y'all have it just like this, y'all see everything is still flat, everything is still cohesive. You should have something like this. The laces still should be even, as y'all see, laces even. And so what you wanna do, so basically how I said in the first um, lace way, you wanna loosen the shoe up a little bit if you want to. This one, we're gonna loosen it up a lot. We're gonna loosen it up a lot. That's what's called the loose knot. So like I said, in the first one, you just want to take each lace, each row, just kind of loosen it and making it loose. y'all so y'all should have something like this you know what i'm saying it should look like this i don't know really what to call this but it should look like this so now all you want to do is pretty much lace up the shoe 
With this laceway, it's pretty much, it's basically how loose you want the shoe, just kind of like the first one. Like if you want it real, real loose, I would do it like this, but if you only want it kind of loose and you don't really mind having a big bow, a big knot, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? And you should have something like this. I'm going to loosen up the knot a little bit because I feel like the knot looks off. Because if you see all the laces are kind of loose and you have the knot, the knot all snuggled up and tight in there. So I'm going to fix that real quick. Boom. Now you see the knot, it now matches the whole loose aesthetic. And this personally, I don't really like this lace way, but a lot of people do lace their Jordan 4s like this. Me personally, I just don't really feel for it that much. And I also don't like when my wings flap. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. I just never like that on sneakers in general. Like the Jordan 1s, like the off-whites. I don't like the off-white Jordan 1s simply because of that feature. I don't like them. It's just, I don't, it just doesn't appeal to me. But short tangent over, this is another dope lace where you can do. Like I say, it's just not my preference. But I don't think anything's wrong with it. All right, y'all. So we're at the last one. The last one we're going to do is called the loose. So loose is basically you're just going to have it dangling off on the side. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to look cool though you ain't gonna be flopping off your feet you feel me so like the first two unlace the shoe Ooh. 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 all right y'all now we got the shoe unlaced for the third and final time I hate unlacing shoes. It, it takes so much time and effort to unlace a shoe and tie it back up. But I'm making this video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so just like the, the first lace way, you want to lace it up all the way to the middle once again. Like I said, don't do the first one, don't do the third one. This middle one on the top right here. That, that's what you want to do. And also still make sure your laces are even. You know what I'm saying? Make, make sure you gotta make sure lace tips even. That plays a big part. You gotta make sure they're even. y'all so now that we have the shoe laced back up so basically what you want to do with the first step is make these long in your own way like some people might like it this long some people might like it real short at the top so make this your desired length to have the loose look me personally i like mine kind of like i want to say like around here like at the bottom of the wings so that's how i'm gonna do mine Alright, so now that we have that, y'all see we have a whole bunch of extra excessive lace right here. But you see we have the ends loosed, right? Loosed, is that a word? I don't know. But we have the ends loosed, as I said again, right here. So yeah, to me, this is how I want mine to look. This is how I feel like it looks the dopest. So then what you want to do is just like the second lace way is just keep going down and lace and loosening up the shoe. y'all so y'all should get something like this y'all see all my laces are still flat they all still are cohesive they're kind of just sitting on each other if you can see that y'all can see that 
they kind of just sitting above each other, some of them floating on them, you know what I'm saying? But it still looks cool, you know what I mean? Like, this is a look that I would do if I'm just being lazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tie my shoe up, I'm just trying to go out the house real quick. I got it like a little quick, you know what I'm saying, event to go to or something, like a sneaker event or some type of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about, but some, something like that, then I will, you know, wear them like this and rock them like this. But, yeah, this is a cool, dope way that I really like. It's just, the first lace way is just something I've really been sticking to for a couple years now. So, that's the one I usually rock with. But, I honestly would do this if I felt like it. You know what I'm saying? This is not a bad look, in my opinion. And it still looks clean. You know what I'm saying? It's loose and it's sloppy, but the same way it still looks clean. Because y'all see how the lace is still flat. they cohesive. They look, you know what I'm saying? Nice. So, yeah. This right here is the last lace way. All right, y'all, that is the three ways that I would lace the Air Jordan 4. Like I said in the intro, the Air Jordan 4 is becoming the new Jordan 1, simply. You know what I'm saying? Whenever these Jordan 4s drop, they need $300, $350, $320, $400 off rip resale value. So, it's tough. It's tough getting Jordan 4s. Happily, most of the Jordan 4s that I actually wanted, I got for retail. Like, the Red Thunders right here, I got for retail. Sneakers out. The, um... The UNC Blue Jordan 4s I got for retail, even though I sold them. I don't have those anymore, but I still got those for retail. It just is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Jordan 4s become a new Jordan 1, and it's just a very popular silhouette at the moment. But, like I was saying, that is the ways I would list Jordan 4. This is my preferred way to wear them, but I might switch it up on you, and you know what I'm saying, wear them like this from time to time, you feel me? But most of the time you see me, I'll probably have them laced like this. But yeah, man, that's how I like the Jordan 4. And let me know if y'all want to see a Jordan 4 collection video. As y'all see, I have a couple of decent pair of folds, you know what I mean? So if y'all want to see a Jordan 4 collection video, let me know. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV on the road to 10K subscribers. And I'm gone. Yeah, it is.